since Satan had told Adam and, and Eve what they, was, uh, uh, what they could do with what they had, they started having children. Let's go into Genesis, the fourth chapter. Genesis chapter 4, and we're going to start at verse 1. Genesis 4 and 1. Okay, read. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, uh -huh. and she conceived and bare Cain. Go ahead. And said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Now, this, this is Cain, the oldest child. So Adam knew Eve. Go ahead and read. And she, and she again bare his brother Abel. Uh -huh. And Abel was a keeper of sheep. Go ahead. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. Now, she had these two sons. Cain just got anything and presented it to the Lord. And Abel got the best and the first of his flock and presented it to the Lord. So God had respect unto Abel's sacrifice, but he didn't have no respect on the Cain. So Cain got mad, and God warned him about it, saying, you better watch that, do better. A sin going to come upon you, and you're going to rule over. In other words, you're going to commit sin. He didn't listen, and he got mad. So skip down to verse 8, and let's see what happened. Verse 8, go ahead. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Now that's the first murder. And it all come out of jealousy, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. And he was jealous not because Abel did better. It's because he did worse. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people are jealous of people that's doing well. It's not that they're doing better than you. It's just that you decide to do worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you should turn around and kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if you got to do some killing. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? Uh huh. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Uh huh. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Now, first thing he asked Abel, Where is your brother? Yeah, I don't know where he is. Am I my brother's keeper? That let me know one thing. That the law was hit. Mm -hmm. God's commandment was hit. Yes, because if it had not been, thou shalt not kill, he'd have said, oh, I killed him. He laying over in the yeah. field over there. That's right. <laughs> ain't, ain't no thing. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but the whole thing is, he knew that thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. And he lied. And the Lord said, don't you know, because of this, you've been cursed from the earth. What mm -hmm. verse were we? We have verse 12. Go ahead. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Uh -huh. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Now, he told Cain that. But remember, all oh, this is on the other side of the flood, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. because a lot of people want to get Cain on in this side of the flood. He is not here, and none of them that belong to him. But I want to show you something that happened. Skip down to verse 19, uh, uh, verse 16, because now Cain's children, Cain had children, his children had children, and we're going to show you that their behavior was just like their father. Mm -hmm. Verse 16, go ahead. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord uh -huh. and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. Go ahead. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived in bare Enoch. Uh -huh. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. Now, you want to know where Cain got his wife? Be patient. We'll show you. Well, people say, where did Cain got his wife? I remember the old Israelites used to say, well, it was, he got, his wife was a monkey. <laughs> I never forget an old guy named Booker. In Washington Park, he couldn't just say it. He used to look and say, Cain, look. <laughs> and he saw a monkey, and he knew that was his wife. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to stop at that. Go any further, I'm going to offend somebody. <laughs> but Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and she had Enoch. Go ahead. See that, see, that is the big thing of being in this thing for 40-plus years. Because you've seen it all. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. And unto Enoch was born Irad. And Arab begat Mahujael, and Mahujael begat Methusael, uh -huh. and Methusael begat Lamech. Go ahead. And Lamech took unto him two wives. Oh, he got some wives. Mm -hmm. A lot of women on the planet uh -huh. by this time, ain't it? He uh -huh. took on him two wives. Go ahead and read. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other Zillah. Uh-huh. And Adah bare Jabel. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. Uh-huh, uh -huh. go and ahead. His, and his brother's name was Jubal. Go ahead. He was the father of all such as handled the harp and organ. Uh-huh. And Zillah, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. That Cain had some smart people mm -hmm. come out of him, didn't they? But go what verse are we? We're in the end of 22. Go ahead and finish it. And the sister of Tubal Cain was Naamah. Uh-huh. And Lamech said unto his wives, Adon and Zillah, 
Hear my voice, ye wise of Lamech. Go ahead. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. See, so Cain's children were just like him. Mm -hmm. Now, Cain was a murderer. Now we see this Lamech then murdered somebody because he said, to my wounding and my hurt. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Lord said that anybody that kills Cain, they're going to be cursed seven times. Mm -hmm. But these guys had no dealing with God, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech, seventy and sevenfold. Uh-huh. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son and called his name Seth. Go ahead. For God said she hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. So now a Adam finally had another child, a son. And he was Abel. Nobody knows about Abel. Everybody, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a Seth, brother. But everybody knows about Cain and Abel, but mm -hmm. nobody knows about Seth. So this guy was Abel. Let's see what happened when his children started to come on the earth. Go ahead and read. And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, uh -huh. and he called his name Enoch. Go ahead. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Now, only when Seth's children come up on it, then men became the, See, remember, Cain killed Abel. And the only ones that had a lineage going on was Cain's sisters and brothers. So now, Seth came along, and he started to have children. And then his children started to call. But Adam and Eve wasn't through. I'm just letting you know the order the way they came. Now let's go and show you they wasn't through. Let's go into Genesis, the fifth chapter. Genesis 5. You know, people all know about Cain and Abel. Then if that's the case, then you have to ask the question, where did we come from? Mm -hmm. Cain killed Abel. And we didn't see no women on the horizon except for Eve. Where did we come from? This tells it all. Five and one. Go ahead. This is the book of the generations of Adam. This is the book of the generations of Adam. Go ahead and read. And the day that God created man. Uh-huh. And the likeness of God made he him. Go ahead. Male and female created he them. So we know this is talking about what was written in the first and the second That's chapter, right. don't we? That's right. Because he didn't say Adam in the first chapter. He only used Adam in the second. So in Abel, one creation. One was a blueprint, and the other one, well, he was bringing it to pass. Go mm -hmm. ahead and read. And blessed them. And called their name Adam. Go ahead. And the day when they were created. Now see, because Adam named the woman Eve because he said, I'm going to name you Eve because you are the mother of all living. Because mm -hmm. you know how the day starts, even in the morning is the mm -hmm. first day. Mm -hmm. Man mm -hmm. got it backward. But go ahead and read. And Adam lived in 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness. Uh -huh. After his image, uh -huh. and called his name Seth. Go ahead. And the days of Adam, after he had begotten Seth, were 800 years, uh -huh. and he begot sons and daughters. Now look, after Adam had lived 130 years, and he got set, which came after Cain and Abel, mm -hmm. he lived another 800 years and got sons mm -hmm. and daughters. You can have a whole lot of sons and daughters in mm -hmm. 800 years, That's sister right. and brother. So where did Cain get his wife from? From among mm -hmm. his sisters. That's right. He just hung around. Sure, he went to the land of Nod after he had a sister old enough to grab. Mm -hmm. And then everybody started having babies. 800 years. But in the meantime, Seth wasn't, wasn't a, a foot dragon either. Go mm -hmm. ahead and read. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years. Uh-huh. And he died. Now, Adam lived 930 years. But 800 of them years after Seth, he was having sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. So Cain got his, sister, his wife from among his sister, sister and brother. And so did Seth. Because the Lord put it that way. So... Because that's why I said this is the creation of Adam. 